Hello everyone. Today I will introduce an agile tool named Synodo. Synodo is a simple, flexible, and free tool designed to meet the needs of distributed agile teams. It's a host online service that allows agile teams to collaborate with highly interactive digital task board. Please remember the domain name domain name synodo.com you could manage your task board everywhere before you use it you need to register you will see the register table is very easy you just need to put on your names here an email address and password and check on this items and click Regis button, they will send you a email. Before you log in the tool, you need to confirm the email. I have already registered, so let's just let me log in. When we log into the tool, you can see the tool's interface is super constant. In the left half, you can manage your projects. And the half, the right half, you, you can manage your uh, iterations belong to the, this project. After you select this project, you can share it by clicking this button. In this window, you can invite people by emails. And uh, Synodo give us three roles to in the project. As an administrator, you can assign the task to the collaborator. As a viewer, you just can watch and as a collaborator you can see what task you need to do and change task status when, and also you can put some message here before you send sending to them you can also see how many collaborators in your projects and you can see the status of invitation Synodo allows users to collaborate on multiple different projects with different team members so you can add a lot of projects here projects you can add a project by this button. The project name is required to input. And you could record some descriptions here and cite the start date, plan the complete completion date, and also you can you can you can cite some different organizations, different teams here. And the Synodo give us two status of the projects as open or closed. Every stories all fall under a certain category to indicate story type. By default this could be a story, defect, or spec. But you can also add some types as you want in the application as an owner or administrator of the project. Story size denotes the level of complexity of your story. So 
a very complex story could have a higher new uh, higher number value of the points. In the general setting, if you check this option, the owner of or the administrators may reuse a similar task to the different story. Challenge uh, changes to the projects are instantly updated to all the project users. The task board is always up to date, no lag, no delays. For this part, I recommend you to to create some sample sample projects because you just need to edit some story. And don't don't need to add the iteration from zero. In the project setting you can you can edit your project and the view members and in the right, right half a project could have several iteration parts so you can add inter, uh, iteration from here See now to give us a full status of the iteration. In progress, planned, future, and closed. You can see the different color code to sign the different status. Administrator could assign customer color code category to task. Tracking the hour. Tracking the hourly estimate for each task will allow for the rendering of burn downs to estimate hourly remain. Sometimes it reacts very slow because I think it's free after all, and sometimes the volume of the user is too high. From here, you can import a story by CV, CSV files to the task board, and it only supports CSV files. Future task can help you to, to see uh, which task you haven't assigned or just uh, your, your own task. You can add a story here. And put on some story description, the story size and the units will tell us how complicated your story is. And also some story ID, story nodes, and story teams. You can see we we create a story here, and also you can add some tasks here. We view the.
current system. Tax number number one. Like a QA owner, and also you can assign the task to the collaborator by here. We the time uh, the hours remain five is set here and submit. You can see different colored task is here. As a collaborator, when you finish a task, you can put you can drag the task box to the complete and they will ask you to change the task time remaining to zero and sometimes if you just blocked you also can drag the box to the different columns it's, it's really simple tools Although it's developed in Flash, it works well enough. As a project manager, you will like it. Thank you. That's all.